Well, remember that thing? How the differential got busted back in August when we did our biggest wheelie? You know, driving backwards in reverse and then slamming it in drive and hitting the gas? Not a good idea. So let's take that bad boy apart. I've replaced the differential. It was no big deal. It took me about three hours working in the rain. Got the old one here in the shop and we'll take it apart and we'll see actually what busted in it. Nice and warm in here. Now to get to business. Let's pull that diff cover off and see what broke. Already I know something broke because the C-clip came out and that axle kept falling off the van after it broke the diff. Oh right, got to get a bucket under there. Catch the goo that comes out. Not a prior off. Ugh. It's going to take two hands. Not the silicone. Oh, I see crap already. Look at all that debris. Whatever the hell that was. Chunk of something. Hmm, I'm gonna get the light in there and poke around some more. Well, Phil wasn't telling any bull when he told me this was some sort of limited slip or posi rear end, because right back in there is the clutches. It's a chunk ripped out of the carrier. It's supposed to have four elevens in here. Well, now I'm gonna have to see if I can get anything turning. Get this thing uh, turned around and see what's all going on in there. Sure is lots of crap. Well, just dug my hands in that ooey gooey yumminess and there's lots of debris in there. And there's lots more. The whole carrier pot is busted right out. There's the pin the spider gears used to run on. That spider gear there is just falling right out. Here's the numbers on that rear end if anybody can tell me what the ratio was. What a mess. Um, yeah, nothing will turn now. <laughs> oh well. I don't know what the differential ratio was on the other axle I put in, but that came from a 95 Astro van. Sweet. Ah, too bad I was going to make a video or two to show you how differentials work. But <laughs> not on this one. Nothing turns and she's way too messed up.